What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and welcome to the final volume, volume five of my community uh, contest, Ultimate Knife Mobs. Thank you so much to everybody who has participated. Uh, if you don't know what's going on and you want a rundown of everything, uh, you can click on the very first link of the description, which will have a video um, that explained entries and things. Obviously, with this being the final episode, there are no more entries. So for today, I have five more, uh, the five final awesome entries that I've chosen, and I can't wait to share them with you guys. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, let's start off here with an interesting one. I did not expect to see a modded artisan cutlery archaeo uh so it says espresso etch on the uh damascus blade mirror polished convex edge interesting multi-layer anodization uh all done in-house at arrow hand uh, arrow hand uh, handkerchiefs <laughs> i was gonna read that arrow hand kerchiefs I'm dumb. Uh, yeah, this is cool. I just wasn't expecting to see an Archeo. When I saw this, I thought, you know what? That's an interesting one. I did. It's not a model that I expected anybody to mod, but I do like that Anno job, the sort of plasma Anno, as I call it. So pretty cool. So uh, yeah, at uh, Arrow Handkerchiefs on Instagram did this. I thought this was an interesting one. This would be knife number one. So if you are going to vote down in the comments section, which I would encourage you to do, um, because it's free entry to win something. Uh, number one, make sure that you see all of the entries. Number two, when you vote, please spell out the word of the number. Don't say, I vote for number one and put the actual number one. Spell it as O-N-E, and that'll make my job much easier. So thank you. Anyways, the Artisan Cutlery Archeo here would be number one, O-N-E. Moving on here to number two, what we've got here is a spider code, despite me saying, you know, I tried not to include so many. Yeah, I mean, I, I still have to include some because it's just, that's that's like 90% of what I'm getting. The knife, interesting font, <laughs> the knife is the spider code uh, Sleesh Swayback, uh, which is an interesting one. Again, not something that I expected to see modded. Um, the blade has a sharpening toil, which is something that spider code should just be doing on all of their knives, right? Uh, the hardware has been torched, so that's the steel hardware that's been uh, heated up to give it that bronze color. Um, and then the scales are still titanium, but they've been barked and bronzed. Um, this is another uh, anno job by Knife Modders, which is really great. Knife Modders does a great job. Um, the clip is in Lynch Northwest, which you guys I'm, I'm sure have seen many times. And then uh, the lanyard hole was done by uh, this person here, who apparently is entering Knife Modders again. Um, again, I'm limited. Oh, it's, it's underscore Jacob underscore 4206. So since Knife Modders has had three entries here, what I'm going to do is Knife Modders can have their own because they did have their own entry. And then the people who submitted knives that were modified by Knife Modders, those people are then entered and not. That, that way Knife Modders doesn't have three entries, right? So I want to make it fair. Um, let's see here. Yeah, the titanium actually does look like wood, which is cool. This is really cool. I like how this looks a lot. I can get one shot here of the uh, Lynch Northwest, but you can see also the detail in the titanium I thought was really, really cool. So very cool. Make sure you guys check out it's underscore Jacob underscore 4206 and knife modders because they do this type of stuff if you don't want to do it yourself. Uh, this would be number two, T-W-O. Moving on here to number three, which I just, it just made me laugh. Speaking of Chris Reeve knives, this is a uh, Chris Reeve Sebenza 21 with <laughs> this is like a sprinkles, right? If you remember the, uh, I think um, Swiss Army knife, the SAK did a scale in the donut sprinkle pat thing. And then there was also, of course, the Boker Kalashnikov sprinkle edition, which I think started this whole mess. Uh, this just made me laugh that this exists, right? The scale was by at beans underscore EDC. Uh, it's just called the Donut Scale. And uh, the backspacer is uh, Carolina Gears Blue Aluminum, um, which is cool. And the clip is an RGT in pink Timascus. Thumb studs are unknown. So those are modified thumb studs as well. I didn't actually catch that. 
um, that the scale just makes me laugh. And I, this is one of those things where people are going to be like, how dare he ruin? Oh, I'm offended. If, if Listen, if this offends you, I, w- I would say just just sit down and be quiet because like no, nobody's going to ever take you seriously about anything. Like This is just somebody having fun, right? Every time one of the sprinkle scales comes up, there's some like, you know, like hyper tactical lone wolf dude who's just like, I can't stop that it's not midnight black and serious, right? I only carry things that Batman would carry, and Batman would not carry a sprinkle knife. Shut up. This is funny. This cracks me up, and I like, you know, like, I... (laughs) This is the kind of thing that I would vote for (laughs) if I was involved in this, right? Um, I I shouldn't say that, but, uh, you know, it just, it makes me laugh. Like, this person is having fun with something that they bought. Like, I think it's cool, right? Uh, And it's a Sabenza. (laughs) I love it. Instagram is at Mitt Spooner. Um, So there you go. Um, The donut scale. I feel like at beans underscore EDC is probably going to get some requests. (laughs) What is it made out of? Oh man, is it like acrylic or what? I, I have no idea. It's it's really interesting though. Um, yeah, and then the other side, there's the pink Timascus RGT clip. If you're wondering, those pop up on DLT trading quite often. Yes, they're expensive, but it's just a pocket clip. Yes, they're expensive. It's made out of Timascus. It is what it is, right? This would be number three, the donut Sabenza. So if you'd like to vote, sorry, I know that the. I'm actually recording this on the the MacBook, and the speakers do not like it when I yell, so the audio gets really distorted, and anybody wearing headphones is probably having a rough time when I yell, so sorry about that. If you want to vote for the Donut Sabenza, uh, this would be number three, (laughs) T-H-R-E-E. It's really condescending that I spell it. (laughs) Wow, this one was sick. Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. Uh, This was submitted by at flowers.outdoors. All mods done um, by him. So, or her. Uh, Flint textured. I like that. Flint. It does look like flint. Acid etched and stonewashed blade. Swapped uh, the black micarta scales. Nice choice. I think that looks good with bronze. Anodized hardware. Uh, Textured acid etched an anodized pocket clip. Beautiful, beautiful. The very cool picture too. Man, that is stunning. Um, so stock scales, modded uh, scale screws, modded pocket clip, and modded blade. Um, yeah, I uh, I really like this one. I'm a big fan. I've said this many times. I'm a big fan of kind of aged um, you know, looking knives, if it's done in a way that's consistent and kind of goes with the, if it, to me anyways, if it looks like it all sort of goes together, flows together, sorry, just adding some Dr. Seuss in your lives. Um, yeah, and this does, and it's also black and gray and bronze, which I think is some of, those are some of the coolest color combinations for knives. So, uh, this would be the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog modded to look like an ancient artifact would be uh, number four, F O U R. And moving on to the final mod, which I've I've entered this knife before, but not specifically this mod. Uh, this this was quite impressive. <laughs> this is a Benchmade bug out. Oh man, <laughs> Bashy Designs titanium milled scales, deep carry clip, blue anodized titanium pivot. Transparent knives, reblade, magna cut. Ooh, <laughs> 64.3 HRC. Sorry, I don't know. That's uh, you know, <laughs> that's the noise you make after you read uh, <laughs> magna cut. <laughs> Seven thousands behind the what? 18 degrees per per side. Man. Uh, <laughs> It's just sick. Oh my god, what a gorgeous knife. Um, yeah, I mean, like this is uh, for a lot of people. This is like, you know, when you dream about something that you you think like, I I don't even know where I got that idea, but I wish it existed. Where in my subconscious could this have possibly come from? This is like ultimate EDC beyond ultimate ultimate EDC that only could have come from the ether of dreamland. Um, yeah, I, I like this. <laughs> yeah, I think this is gorgeous. I really like this area in here um, where they have uh, added this sort of 
this sort of knurled uh, texture pattern inside, and then they've deepened this line, right? And then sort of, I bet they've knocked this edge down. That's really beautiful. Really, really nice work. Look at that blade. Fantastic. Yeah, uh, that, uh, I think, it, you know, as, as far as the entries that I've seen here, these all of the entries are great. I, I mean, I handpicked these, right? Um, so of the 25 people who made, um, you know, the entries, uh, this is one of my personal favorites. I, I think this is gorgeous. And again, as I said in a previous episode, I'm actually not that big of a fan of the bug out. But the mod it's not about the knives. It's about the mods here. So... It's almost funny that the bug out ended up being, you know, it, there were a couple of bug out models that were really good, but this one in particular, man, Magna Cut at 64.3. Um, interesting. Um, I, I'm, I'm curious about the performance of it because that should, at, at that Rockwell hardness, that's going to, you know, massively outperform a lot of, <laughs> a lot of the, you know, extremely like the, the high edge retention steels that we've all come to know and love. Um, but, uh, yeah, very cool. So this would be, uh, the, um, the super EDC, the, the laser, the laser bug out with the modded blade. I don't know why I'm trying to nickname these, um, would be entry number five and that's F I V E, uh, for those of you who uh, plan to vote, um, guys, this was a really fun series and, uh, that generated a lot of attention and I, I enjoyed doing this. Like I said, there's still a final volume six to come with the five uh, most voted knives of each volume. So they're all going to go head to head. And um, so uh, all of you who have entered and actually made it through one of these volumes, you're going to find out if your entry um, is actually going to be in the final volume six. And then we will all collectively vote, everybody but me. We'll collectively vote again um, to see uh, who the ultimate winner is. So, yeah. This was really fun, guys. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I hope uh, some of you have been motivated to modify your own knives. Um, and if not, you know, like do the, the physical modding yourself, um, buy custom parts and things like that, because it's fun. Doing stuff like this is fun. It can be expensive, and you'll learn some expensive lessons, but um, it uh, there's a whole nother level of joy to uh, the knife hobby uh, when it comes to modifications. Absolutely. So... Anyways, that's going to be pretty much it today. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.